Hello designers! In this video we will learn how to export high poly data which you can use in Blender for rendering. If we export the data in this way it, it will be really difficult to edit and model and continue modeling in Blender so just be mindful about this is just for rendering and presentation purposes. If I grab the data and press the blue button you see it's low poly. This is how I model it here. It still has the mirror applied here. So the main difference between low poly and high poly is in the export setting. So I hit the blue button, then I make sure I'm saving on cloud and here I hit the export. Again, I will use the FBX, it's better than the OBJ because it keeps your material and layer structure centimeters and up axis is the Y and here in advanced option, I will go for mesh, but I will not go for welded but for single, for real-time rendering. And here I go for render instead of control and I keep layers. Go back and hit the export and save it here in my files. Hit the check mark and you see it's saving into my landing pad. Go to your landing pad, make sure you are in the correct organization in my file. Search for the file, click on it hit the download, then open the Blender Go import, FBX, search for the files in downloads, click on it and hit import FBX. The car will appear in the same position, in the same condition as it was in gravity. Go to scene collection and unroll all of the meshes and you will see they have the same names as the layers inside the gravity sketch. Also click select everything, go to object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. This helps to keep your file organized. Then hit the tab in the edit mode and you will see we have a nice high poly data. So I don't recommend modeling or retouching, editing the vertexes here. This is just for rendering purposes. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow for more Gravity Sketch content.